This is Pyro, and it's quite likely one of the most inhospitable places within Star Citizen. This year's CitizenCon shows the upcoming star system off in some detail, giving a first look at what could be expected from the new planetary tech. Now, in my previous video, we saw a playthrough from CIG of a mission on the planet of Pyro 3, a planet that features a visually rich biome of yellow moss and grass with a striking atmosphere and clouds. The studio has said that the content on show in the demo has been made, however it's also clear from the other parts of the keynote that the Pyro system as a whole is still very much in early production, and in some cases even pre-production. So this basically means that the other planets within Pyro are not as yet as developed as the glimpse made of Pyro 3. However, that said, the keynote presentation did show what some of these planets might actually look like. As mentioned then, Pyro is a very hostile system. From its inferno of a sun to its crime-ridden environments, it's not at all a friendly place, and CIG wanted the planetary services and the planets themselves to reflect this. Now, having such a wide range of planetary environments means that planetary tech will need to be continually refined and further developed. The new clouds are a clear example of this, with the first iteration of those being deployed on Crusader in patch 3.14 a short while ago. This clip shows some uh, extremely complex clouds that CIG are aiming for in the end, although uh, they were very clear that this is a work in progress, and that the final version may look different. That said, the clouds on Pyro 3 during the demo were definitely impressive. The same is true for these surfaces of the planets, where CIG are looking to capture lots of details, whether that is small gravelly surfaces, large rocky areas or even cliffs. The video clips show a lot of variation, which seem to suggest that each planet within Pyro will be distinct and likely instantly recognisable. Now, talking of being visually distinct, the concept art for Pyro 3 very much reminds me of Death Stranding, a game that I feel has some extremely standout geography and biomes. In fact, I would go as far as to say that a screenshot from Death Stranding is almost instantly recognisable as being from that game. Now, what do you all think? Is this scenes of Pyro 3 reminiscent of Death Stranding with the backpacks and the landscape? It's a laudable goal for CIG to aim for, for sure, as Death Stranding most certainly has some very, very impressive environments. So, to achieve these level of details, CIG made a breakdown of all the assets from the concept art pieces. This gave them a lot of information, which included a clear colour palette, ideas on vegetation, along with the type and style of terrain. They also wanted to make sure to include enough variation to uh, provide extensive surface coverage, something that's very important, otherwise you just end up with plain surfaces. They did say, however, that performance is always a concern, so uh, some consideration needed to be taken into effect to uh, make sure they didn't overdo it in that regard. After all, uh, Star Citizen is hardly known for being uh, very uh, well performing. In fact, it's very demanding and probably not quite too well optimised at this uh, point. Now, many of the assets on these planets are procedurally generated, or procedurally placed rather, uh, to give things a natural look, as well as to save time in their construction. It seems that CIG have certainly spent a lot of time focusing on the appearances of these planets. That spe specifically, a good example is the very distinctive Moss on Pyro 3, and this ultimately led to a variety of layers that included these elements of grass, different layers of moss, as well as rocks, and much more to give this complete final look. Right now then, the main work seems to have been focused on Pyro 3. Once the IG have shown some clips of the other planets, it seems that they might be a working concepts for now. Overall then, I feel that the planetary and tech, the planetary tech in Star Citizen continues to impress. There's a huge amount of variety here, and it's clear that a lot of thought goes into its creation. The trick, as always, is going to be filling those great environments with quality gameplay. What do you all feel about the planets of Star Citizen then? The ones that already exist, as well as the ones demonstrated at CitizenCon? Is quality better than quantity? Would you prefer a smaller handful of planets that are all visually distinct and instantly recognisable, or hundreds of planets that are all very similar to each other. Does size worry you too much? After all, uh, the planets in the Star Citizen are smallish compared to real planets. Some of them are one-tenth of scale. 
would you rather fall to scale planets that are perhaps not quite as detailed? Do let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.